Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. And uh, I've used all kinds of video editors over the years. Uh, I think probably about, oh, um, 10 years ago, maybe about that long anyway, I started putting up uh, YouTube videos. And I've tried everything. Like everybody else, I tried the Windows Movie Maker, and uh, it was okay, but it had it was pretty limited. I also uh, tried the VSDC video editor, and it's pretty thorough, but it's uh, pretty complicated to figure out. And so finally, uh, I think about eight years ago, I settled on uh, PowerDirector. And I started out with PowerDirector 10 and kept upgrading, and I finally got to PowerDirector 15. And uh, when they came out with 16, I thought, I've got everything I need. I'm not going to upgrade. But the problem with PowerDirector is um, it has uh, it uses a lot of resources, and it ends up leaving a lot of trash on your computer if you haven't figured that out. So um, anyway, last fall uh, or last winter, I had to buy a new computer because to do my videos, uh, PowerDirector was, was uh, just... You know, consume too many uh, resources to run on my old laptop. So I bought this really, this is a low-end gaming computer, and boy, it ran fine on that until finally it started crashing. Uh, <laughs> and so, oh, by the way, before I could reinstall it on that com on this computer, when I first got it, I had to contact um, Cyberlink and go through a, a complicated process of proving that I had already paid for it. And so then recently, uh, PowerDirector started crashing, and uh, so I reinstalled it, and I forgot that here we go again. And so I thought, you know, I'm going to start looking for uh, something else. And I checked on Adobe, and the cheapest one you can, you, they rent it out now, uh, $20 a month for the low-end low one. And I can't afford $20 a month. And so I thought, I'm going to look for alternatives to the Adobe. And guess what? I found an excellent, excellent alternative. This is called uh, KDEN Live. K-D-E-N-L-I-V-E. -E, KDEN Live. And I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not. But it is totally, totally easy to use. And uh, especially if you're used to uh, PowerDirector. I'm not going to show you how to use it because because there are lots of videos on YouTube on how to use uh, KDEN Live. Uh, the best one I found is, I'll put a link to it, but uh, uh, this guy's website is, is excellent. And uh, his website is called TJ Free. And he reviews all kinds of quality free software. And so uh, if you, if you want to try this video uh, editor out, he has... He's an excellent instructor, and he has bunches and bunches of 10-minute videos, 10 minutes or less. And uh, just start with uh, lesson number one, which is what you're looking at here on the screen. And um, uh, start. I spent I spent probably three hours, maybe two hours, two or three, two between two and three hours when I first downloaded it watching this guy's videos and I got all the way up to I don't know what it was 10 or 11 and by the time by the time you listen to three or four of them you're ready to start making videos for YouTube so anyway that's uh, the that's the story of my new uh, video editing software and of course uh, the video that I put up previous to this one uh, this is what it looks like and uh, let's see we'll go down to the big we'll go down to start down here and uh, uh, it, everything is just as easy as can be. Uh, in fact, it's, it's even easier in a lot of ways and more powerful than some of the other video editors that I've used that were expensive. So anyway, it's called Kden Live. And uh, if you're looking for a, a free, absolutely free video editor that is, is uh, powerful and uh, tons of tools, uh, I would recommend this one. So anyway, that's all I'm going to say on this because uh, uh, if you're looking for a video editor that does the job, this one will work for you. And uh, I promise. And if you have any questions on how to use it, uh, I've learned a little bit and I can also uh, answer some questions. But anyway, I don't want to take any more of your time. I wanted to keep this short. So I want to say thanks for watching and God bless.